Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about an amazing little instrument that's popped up in movies, TV shows, and video games, the ocarina. This ancient wind instrument has a unique charm and hauntingly beautiful sound that has fascinated people for centuries. But why has the ocarina become so special in pop culture? It's not just because of its look or its sound. The ocarina has been featured in many popular games, movies, and shows, adding a magical touch to each story. The most famous appearance is probably in the video game The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, but it's also been in other games, movies, and TV shows, each time adding to its mysterious allure. Today we're going to take a look at some of the most memorable ocarinas that have been played on screen by characters in video games, movies, and TV shows. Starting with... Mayu's theme from Space Pirate Captain Harlock. Let's start with the 1978 series Space Pirate Captain Harlock. In this story, a young girl named Mayu gets an ocarina from Captain Harlock as a birthday gift. The simple melody she plays is perfect for beginners. Let's enjoy her performance. Jen's song from The Dark Crystal. Next, we have the 1982 film The Dark Crystal. Jen, a gelfling, plays an instrument similar to an ocarina called a furka. This scene, where Jen plays beneath a waterfall, is truly magical, and the song is a bit challenging. Great for skilled players. Ocarina in Link's Awakening before Ocarina of Time, there was Link's Awakening. In this game, Link learns powerful melodies on the ocarina that can change reality itself. Here's a clip of Link learning the Ballad of the Windfish from Marin. Tapion's theme from Dragon Ball Z Wrath of the Dragon. In Dragon Ball Z Wrath of the Dragon, Tapion, a mysterious warrior, plays a powerful ocarina called the Hero's Flute. This haunting melody is simple but full of emotion, perfect for intermediate players. Lugia's Song from Pokemon the Movie 2000 in Pokemon the Movie 2000, Melody performs Lugia's song on her seashell ocarina during a festival. This melody is ideal for intermediate players and adds a magical touch to the scene. Menma's theme from Naruto. In Naruto, Menma, from a parallel universe, uses his ocarina not just for music, but also in battle. The melody he plays is simple and great for beginners. Claudia's Ocarina in The Dragon Prince In the Netflix series The Dragon Prince, Claudia, a dark mage, uses her ocarina for both music and magic. Though her eerie melody is simple, it might require a skilled player to perform on a multi-chamber ocarina. Azure Flute in Pokemon Legends Arceus In Pokemon Legends Arceus, the Azure Flute is a legendary artifact used to summon Arceus. The tune can be played by both novice and advanced musicians, with a simplified version available for beginners. The ocarina has a special place in pop culture, appearing in everything from video games to anime to movies, this small wind instrument is more than just a tool for making music. It's a key part of many stories, unlocking secrets, summoning allies, or casting spells. Whether it's Link's adventures in The Legend of Zelda, Tapion's emotional melodies in Dragon Ball Z, or Claudia's magical tunes in The Dragon Prince, the ocarina adds depth and magic to each narrative. Its timeless appeal lies in its ability to evoke wonder and emotion and adventure, making it a beloved icon in pop culture's musical lore. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the world of the ocarina and pop culture. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.